while I'm gearing up to glue this breast hook in place, just recap what we got going on here. So I made this of two layers of three quarter and added a third in the front here with the radius. And I just, uh, I wound up, I rounded over this front edge but realized uh, I don't want that round over right yet till after I tie the in wheel into it. So I cut that off. So this is gonna be sticking up three quarters above the side of the boat. So the second layer down is basically flush with the... And the reason I'm doing that is because I'll show you the I'll show you a close-up detail of what we got going on with the in whale how's that's tying in so each side is up three quarters of an inch and this in whale is just dying into this the reason it's up like this is because it it's 90 degrees to the side of the boat and uh, I'm gonna put a block in here to tie that in and this basically all this edge is gonna get sanded off and so the caps gonna have a little crown and the reason I got to do all that is just to uh, there's no good way to tie this in wheel in there's other ways to manipulate this, cut different uh, tabs on this bow stem and uh, on this breast hook. But, um, you know, plenty of boats have been built the same way, so I'm just going to carry on with tradition. So we're going to glue this in, let that set up, then we'll work on these, cutting these to length. I always clean everything up with alcohol before I do any gluing. Put that in place. Looks good to go. So it's the following day, my breast hook's all glued in place. Uh, next thing I want to figure out, I'm going to put a little block that this is going to, uh, that my end wheel is going to end to. And I don't want to use just another piece of a, a, a rib here. Um, I'm going to make something like the same width that the uh, end wheel is going to be, which is like two inches. Maybe just like a two by two block that comes that fits right in here and uh, the stock I'm going to use is a piece of PVC uh, trim this to the two inch and uh, just fit it right in here glue that in And I'll have to sand it a little bit. It's going to taper um, From three quarters to maybe five eighths of an inch I'll sand that up So I'm going to make that up right now Cut this on the table saw. So here's my two inch piece that I want to fit an angle to. I'm going to 
hold up that flush with the side of the boat. And a whole bunch of ways you could do this, but um, I'm just going square off this breast hook. Take it that way. pretty close. Uh, best thing to do is just tune that up with my sander. I'll take a little bit off the top. So I got my uh, angle fitted to the breast hook and I'm gonna make this dimension about two inches and I also want to taper it from three quarters to about five eighths. So I'll grab my sander and take care of that right now. Before I cut that off, I'm going to give it a sand. I'm going to take some of this off right here. Well, I still can hold on to it. Clamp it down. Let me take care of that right now. So after I sanded it up, that's how it turned out. I'm going to make the one for the opposite side right now so I can match it to this and then I'll cut the then we'll cut them to length and stick them in glue them so rather than uh, cutting the second one by hand I just use that to find my angle I just unplugged my miter saw and brought my uh, my angle in my bevel right up to my cut and that way I was able to uh, recreate the opposite side and cut that. Now I'm going to sand that, clamp that up, sand that, and cut it to length. Now I'm down at the transom. And I need another block for the in whale to sit against and glue into. So I just put a compound cut on this end, rounded the corner so it fits in nice. This is uh, the same oak that I cut the ribs out of. And I'm going to make this four inches. So I'm just going to square cut this and uh, glue this in and do one for the other side. So I just butted this up with some uh, epoxy and I clamped this in place. I'm also going to add some 4 inch blocks underneath this in wheel in uh, two locations for uh, rod, fishing rod holders or oar locks. Uh, I'm going to put one here, I'm going to put one here. Just a backer, nice solid oak backer.
those are the last blocks. I just glued up six blocks. And then tomorrow I'll be able to put the in wheels on. If you think using plastic is kind of crazy, I think it is. But it's certainly easy to work with. saw set. I'll cut the other side. So I got the in whale pushed all the way up to the breast hook and I just cut a sample piece to fit up, check my angle against the transom. So I got the saw set for that and now I just got to cut this to length. I'm going to do that with this stick right here. that up to spot my transom and I'm going to mark the end of that stick and put it right on top of my end wheel and mark the end of that. Okay, now I'll cut that, put it in place. installed. Still have some uh, work to the seats to happen. Some sanding, some fairing, and painting. But it's looking good. Thanks for watching.